Welcome back, everyone, to Nail is Done. I'm your host, Dominic or Shadow Fury. Doing it right this time. Those of you on YouTube, I screwed up and I didn't show the replay before, but I had enough time to actually make it work, so it was fine. Oh, wait, I... Crap. Crap, crap, crap. How do I... No, I can't... I... Ugh, sorry. I I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Alright, whatever. They're starting reasonably quickly enough. Just, I can't skip because I can't get... No, screw it. There we go. Skip pregame chatter. That was painful. Normally I have that out of the way so it doesn't actually show up and distract people, but there you go. Anyway... Back to where we were. Let's just speed this up slightly so we can get back faster. So, Goldie going for the Jumbot Factory, and Kingside going for a gunship start, which is rather surprising on this map, but it is still going to be a interesting approach. We have Locust coming right out with a bat against Constable Puppy. Gold is not unusual. It's not unusual for Gold to go for Puppy, though. I mean, that's you know kind of a high macro, or high micro unit that's able to do some interesting, cool things. So, yeah, for them, it makes sense. But the Locust come in here, no real defense is coming in. The Puppy is going to be a useful tool for getting rid of the Locust, mind you. So, at the very least, you know, some cheap anti here. But all it is right now is this Constable up against this. On top of the Blast Wings coming in, so what the Constable can do, not much. But it is enough to pull that Blast Wing into the Locust, able to take it out right at the end. Still, though, a lot of Puppies coming up here, which I agree with for the short term. But honestly, I'd like to see some Pickets coming up in here. Yeah. I'd like to see some Pickets coming up, because Pickets would be the way to go here. And that's... That's what we need. That's what Gordon needs, at least. I mean, King said, I'm sure they'd be happy if they didn't have to deal with any pickets. It's just, you know, throw the locusts in and be done. But, that'll be fine. So, at this point, Golda does have a reasonable force to get rid of their opponent's locusts. Not necessarily great to get rid of anything else, but still, they can at least deal with that. And that is the main threat. On the other hand, their commander being very forward at their expansion attempts. I don't know if... Do they know? No, they don't! Kingstad has no idea what Gold is doing. I mean, they might have some idea that this expansion was built. I think they knew. But that's a normal expansion. That's a bit forward for someone to take as their first expansion, but it's not unusual. Taking this expansion first, that is unusual. Actually, no, not even. Not even going for that. Gold is just going for getting a Locust right inside of Kingstad's base. Because why not? Of course, Kingstad's going to have that built up first. That is also an Engineer Commander, so it is going to get that built up first. Like, no matter what, that is going to happen. But at the same time, with proper repair coming in, this Locust could do something, but no, it's just a distraction. Koda trying to come in here, but unfortunately did not time that out right. Bit of a shame, but it happens. Oh, is that Wasp? Is that Wasp really too high for the puppies to kill? No, it's not! Okay, that makes sense. What the heck is it waiting for? What is, why are those puppies not attacking? Actually, good question. Ah, hold fire. Good answer. That is the correct thing to do for puppies. Or at least not a bad thing to do for puppies. It's not necessarily the correct thing to do for puppies, but I think if you hold fire with a fight move, it works fine. So the hold fire, I think, no, no, I think return fire, if you go fight move, they'll still attack. Not entirely sure how that interacts, honestly. I don't use fire states with fight move. Usually if I use fire states, I explicitly tell the unit to attack the target I wanted to attack. I usually don't just have it walk in and hope for the best. Oh, and that going to go to commander. Go to commander. Maybe going down. The ooh, no, just barely getting underwater in time. The revenant able to at least stop some of the assault coming in here, but go to their commander's alive. Their base is fine. Their economy's doing okay. They're a little bit. They're accessing a little bit, but so is Kingstead. It's not a huge deal. And Kingstead lost a fairly, fairly ex important expansion over to the western side of the map. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work in their favor. Probably not, actually. That being said, this Revenant is doing a fine job. Puppy's going to try to give it a hard time, but... Eh. 400 damage a pop and a unit has 3400 HP. That will be a problem. It actually will be very quickly. Actually, that's... You know, maybe Kingstead should re retreat with that Revenant. It's, it's done its job. It's done a really good job. It's put Gota back to their economic parity. Get out of there. Oh, Urchin. Good thinking. Whee! Or, or not, because it missed. 
Is that just radar? No, it's not just radar. The urchin just... Oh, of course, because it's trying to hit this picket. Goes underwater, and then it can't hit the picket because it goes underwater, and the torpedoes end up just literally overshooting and then flying off into the corner in the edge of the map and actually smacking into the edge of the map. Oh, if only it was targeting Golda. But alas, its fire range is actually slightly big. It's big enough. Why is it not a targeting Golda? Should target Golda's commander. Seriously, Kingston, what are you doing? You can see Golda's commander. Oh, no, I can't see Golda's commander right there. That explains it. Can't see underwater. Okay. Never mind. At the same time, Revenant being taken out of the western side of the map thanks to the pickets. So, right now, Kingstead's having a bit of a hard time. All right, Golda's commander here with the caretaker. What is this caretaker going to do? I'm actually genuinely curious what the caretaker is supposed to do because right now I have no idea. I can only guess that it's being used to try to build up some kind of offensive defensive force up at the top. I mean, apart from repairing Goda's Commander, that's that's a good idea. Because, I mean, Goda's Commander's... Oh! Oh, I see what's going to happen. Goda's Commander is getting repaired. They can push in here. They have the Lotuses already built up, so they can just, they already have that. They can jump in from there, have a Caretaker to repair them, and then move in to attack the base. There it is! There's Goda's Commander's going for the assault. What weapon do they have? I think they have a machine gun? Yes, they do. Get that reclaim, too, because why not? Goda already has enough in terms of build power in the main base. These are four each, so... Yeah, 12, 22 total. But still, Goda has enough. And the caretakers are over in the northwest side of the map, too, just building up on top of that. Again, the lotuses. This entire game is just caretakers... Sorry, constables building up lotuses around the map with puppies dealing with the air forces as need be. Oh, and a toad. The Archangel's called Toad now, my bad. And a toad being used to help deal with some of the peskier anti-air. Or get rid of some of the blast wings. Oh. Clever. That, that was... That was interesting. I guess Gota just wanted to be out of the way before the blast was exploded. I've never seen thought of doing that, using a jump jump command to get a unit out of the way of a splash damage attack if destroying them, because... Yeah, it never even occurred to me. That's a cool that's a cool use of that ability, though. With that, though, Gota just wearing down King's Dead. Honestly, was a pretty neat set of moves from King's Dead, though. Like, the Revenant was a really nice choice, and that first Locust, unfortunately, didn't manage to get a lot of damage in there. But yeah, when you have the gunship start against jump bots, and jump bots can just puppy their way out of anything, it is a little bit tough to actually turn that into a lot of damage. So I can see what was going on there. It's That was just a tough matchup. I mean, honestly, it's kind of a tough matchup for gunship in general. Gunship start is not considered strong, just because, well, it's it's an air start. It doesn't have as much of a way of, of controlling the ground. Your opponent can just go for anti-air, and that usually takes care of it. It's a little bit harder to take a game. The upside is you can throw blast wings at your opponent until they die. That's often what's done, especially with a gunship start like that. And I think Kingstead, apparently they've been jumping a lot of... Or they're playing a lot of Golda in the last day or so. And must have just been sick of it and wanted to just go with blast wings and win. But yeah, that was... What the? Oh. Yeah, well, that is a thing. That was a pretty good game, though. I was actually... Yeah, I wasn't sure I would go with Gota, because Gota is Gota, but now King's Dead held their own reasonably well. But yeah, good good point of knowledge of the power of puppies, because puppies are that powerful. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I... I did. So, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time... Have a good night, everyone, and thanks for watching.